You hear that? That, my friends, is the call of the male cicada. Did you know that those tiny animals can actually reach volumes of 120 decibels? It's actually quite staggering. I want to tell you how they actually achieve such thunderous volumes because it's really amazing. Let's get started. The way cicadas could get so loud is most of this abdomen is hollow and that's what provides the resonating chamber that produces such a large loud volume and only the males of course produce this this loud chorus they've got these little organs known as timbals and those timbals basically flex imagine having like a soda can or one of those clicker toys and when you click on it you bend that can the metal kind of bends and it makes a click and when it goes back it makes another click imagine doing that a thousand times a minute you get that buzzing sound. You've got the resonating chamber and it amplifies that buzzing sound and before you know it you've got this incredible song. Multiply that by hundreds or thousands of individuals Think about how loud that must get. There are people that get vertigo and migraines, they get dizzy and all sorts of other ailments from the sheer overwhelming volume of the symphony these cicadas are responsible for. These massive courses are known as aggregations. So yeah, that's how cicadas achieve such thunderous volumes and it's just simply amazing, isn't it? I mean, how cool is that? You know, there is a species of wasp about yay big known as the cicada killer and they specialize exclusively on cicadas and they often strike fear in the hearts of anyone who sees them. Definitely uh, hit like and subscribe to this channel if you like this video and check out the cicada killer video because it's pretty amazing. I'm Chris Ignato, I'll see you in my next video. The wonders of the world of entomology. I am so glad I'm a human. I'm so glad I'm large. <laughs>